Okay, so this video, I'm going to talk to you about things that are articles that you're finding on the internet that don't necessarily have to be cited like a formal journal. And so mostly these things are magazines and newspapers. So if you are looking at print copies of a magazine, um, could be something like Time, The New Yorker, Scientific American, Psychology Today, uh, or other things that you might read on your own, Sports Illustrated, Cosmopolitan, Glamour, Vogue, something like that, that, that you're looking at the paper copies of it. These are things that will typically have a volume and issue number attached to each issue, as well as page numbers. Newspapers, uh, looking at print copies, do have page numbers. And so if you're citing from that, you do need to include that volume and issue and page number information for magazines and newspapers, just like you would for scholarly journals. Even if you're pulling these electronically out of library resources, so you can find uh, popular magazines and major newspapers in a lot of our library databases. If you're pulling it that way, they often have that bibliographic data of volume, issue, and page number. However, you can find a lot of these type of information freely off of the magazine or newspaper's website. So showing you some examples of magazines and newspapers that would be perfectly acceptable for research and for using in research papers, but you're not going to cite them like a journal article as much because you're not getting that volume and issue. So newspapers are a good example of this. Um, a lot of Articles that are on newspaper websites, so like this one, we're looking at the New York Times. Um, they are copies of the article that came out in the print edition that day, but you're also getting a lot of things off of these websites, particularly breaking news, uh, like this article, um, opinion and editorials, discussions around um, smaller kind of subject areas that are solely published online. I know one of our political science professors in the past year wanted to use some articles from the Washington Post. These were things we couldn't get through our subscription with the library databases because they were only published on the Washington Post website. And so we kind of had to work with him on how to get those. And so these can be fantastic resources, perfectly acceptable for research, but they're not telling you most of the time whether or not they were published in print. So you're not getting the page number of the newspaper's part of bibliographic data. So in reality, when you were to cite these, you're really more citing them basically like a website. Um, it's very, very similar. So with this one, Facebook removes 790 QAnon groups to fight conspiracy theory um, by this Shira Frankel, came out August 19th, 2020, uh, and then it's coming out of the New York Times. So that is your who, what, when, and where up here at the top. You would take the URL for the how. Uh, the difference between citing electronic journal articles that you're getting from the library versus citing articles you're finding on websites is you do want to include that URL how, definitely, whereas for those electronic journal articles we talked about in the last video, you wouldn't have to. You would include a DOI number if it has it, but you don't have to include that URL. For this, be safe, um, CYA a little bit, and uh, take that URL. And so even though it is a newspaper and you definitely want to understand that this is a newspaper article that you're looking at in terms of content and the information it's bringing you and its credibility. Citing it, very similar to websites, who, what, when, where, you definitely have that easily. So another example, um, like the News and Observer coming out of Raleigh, um, the same thing. You have this T. Kyung Hu. Well, yeah, I cannot say that. Um, title, every week student could get their own computer with the purchase of 5,000 laptops, published August 19th again, and then coming out of the News and Observer. And so there's your who, what, when, where. How did you get there? Once again, the link again. And so it's important you understand that it is a newspaper article in terms of credibility, but bibliographic info is very, very similar to websites. And so if you're not seeing volume and issue up here with this top info with the rest of bibliographic data, it's pretty safe to say newspapers and magazines are not providing that to you online. Time Magazine would be a very... Another one, I hope you've heard of Time Magazine at the minimum if you don't read it regularly. Um, so definitely a magazine. Time Magazine itself comes out weekly. And so they come out with new issues rather frequently, but they also then publish them online. And so you're getting this article by Katie Riley, August 18th, 2020. Arizona teachers waved to stick out over coronavirus concerns and organizers say other school districts could be next. 
Um, this U.S. COVID-19 is not part of the title. So remember, that's kind of a section division header. It's not part of the bibliographic info of what. What is is the website name. So Time Magazine <coughs> up here in the top. You're also seeing it's part of that URL that you would need to take. So that's really kind of giving you the where for it. Other times you see magazines that are not published in print, so they're never going to have specific volumes and issues you need to list. Um, this one is an open access peer review journal and for library <laughs> research, um, talking about information literacy and things that librarians like myself talk about. And so, but in terms of citing it, because it's not providing you with volume issue page numbers, it is an online only journal that you're finding. Definitely credible. Totally good for research, but you're going to cite it, but you don't need to include that journal info of volume issue and page numbers because it doesn't have it. Sometimes things don't have it. If the information is not there, you cannot provide it, but look around to make sure you're not seeing that anywhere. And so August 19, 2020, author, title, title of the journal itself, which is also the title of the website. Another one you might be familiar with, uh, Rolling Stone, very, very famous music magazine. Same idea. <laughs> okay, author, title, date, title of the magazine, which is also the title of the website. This is where you're kind of looking at that website idea. Another thing you might find uh, pretty frequently, just bring this out, is websites that have newsletters. And so, once again, though, you might be citing those just like the website. If it has data of this is volume and issue, yada, yada, Typically, it's going to provide you a PDF if it's bringing you that information. Uh, you're looking at a PDF scan of the newsletter in print. That's when it really would be a good clue to start looking for volume and issue if you're getting PDF scans of articles. But if you're just getting it on HTML website like this, then it's more cited like a website. So like I said, under, understand what it is you're looking at, that you're really looking at a magazine or a newspaper or a newsletter article. But in terms of bibliographic data, you need to pull as much, much similar to websites. 